Okay, so the recent Chrome 77 update came with a bunch of cool new features like send tabs to your other devices. I was using push bullet for that. Native theme controls, forget momentum and global media controls. Goodbye stream keys. So a lot of features that were previously present in the extensions are now available natively. But there are still a lot of features missing like you cannot have a separate search engine for the incognito mode or smart mute like mute the tab as soon as I leave it. Thankfully there are extensions for that. So this is Pradeek from techvisor.com and here is the list of the best Chrome extensions 2019. But just to keep it interesting, we'll not be covering the popular ones like Grammarly, uBlock, you know the names. Rather, some cool new extensions which do something out of the box. So with that out of the way, let's get started. So let's start with our dear YouTube. The problem that I face with YouTube videos on Google Chrome is that all of them start playing at once. So I have to individually pause every tab or just exit the browser altogether. Now here comes Smart Mute. This only allows sound from the tab which is currently active. And as soon as you switch to the other tab, the music stops. Just a little tip there, in case you're watching this on your mobile and you want the extension to be installed on your laptop, you don't have to send yourself the link, just visit the Chrome Web Store from the link below near the subscribe button and select install it on my system. Okay, so I have this habit of opening certain websites in incognito mode, like my net banking portal or WebMD. So this cool extension called incognito filter lets me list down websites which I prefer to open in incognito. For example, I have the Kotak net banking website added and now when I enter the URL in the omni box and hit enter, boom, it opens in incognito. As simple as that. And if you can get creative with regex and go ahead and make small combinations like this. Now if my search query on any website contains the word zip zap zoom, it will open the web page in incognito, no matter wherever you search this. Just like the popular hover zoom plus, not the controversial hover zoom, URL render lets you preview the entire web page. Ideally for my article research, I open multiple tabs and read them sequentially with URL render, I just search the query on Google and on the output page, I just have to point to the URL and it opens the entire page on the side. If it's not readable, I can even maximize it, scroll through it. It works with most of the popular search engines like Google, DuckDuckGo, Yahoo, Bing, Quant. Needless to say, it saves RAM and when you're dealing with Google Chrome, it does matter. Another extension on the same lines is Tell Me More. When you have this extension installed, just highlight the text and you will quickly get a wiki page of it just beside. Helps a lot and saves much time. Before we get on to the next extension, here's a small trick to keep all the extensions under a single box. Head over to Chrome Flags and enable the flag extension toolbar menu. This will enable an extension box which holds all your extensions under one toolbar. Well, looks neat and they are easily accessible. However, do note that installing too many extensions might hog up your RAM. Now, PIP is a fairly old extension from Google. In case you don't know, it lets you play YouTube videos on the browser in picture-in-picture -picture mode. And not just YouTube, pretty much all of the video streaming websites like Netflix, Amazon Prime, etc, etc. You can use PIP to even play your local videos. Let me show you. First, install the PIP extension. Well, obviously. Now, head over to the local file and select Open with Google Chrome. Now, when the video opens, you can smartly click on the pip icon and there you have it. This comes in handy when I want to proofread my YouTube videos before uploading it to YouTube while also working on the video title, tags and description side by side. Talking about popular search engine, let's talk about YouTube as well. Well, clickbait is not new. You know it, I know it and we have all fallen prey to it. So this extension clickbait remover does a great job to eliminate, well, 
clickbait youtube has this quick overview feature that shows you a glimpse of the video when you hover your mouse on the thumbnail we all know where this comes from but even then it's not foolproof for one it only shows you the most popular part of the video according to youtube and doesn't work in the user's uploaded video section. Enter clickbait remover. It replaces the thumbnail of the video with a random frame from the actual video. Now, you get to decide the position of that frame. It could be from the start, middle or end of the video. Talking about YouTube and things you have fallen prey for, there is this huge binge cycle. Like you go search something on YouTube or you get a notification from YouTube. And before you even realize, you spend an hour watching videos. It's a basic tool and it smartly removes all the video recommendations and comments besides the video itself. But hey, the like button is still there and you know what to do. Again, after the video has finished, there's no autoplay. So the next video doesn't roll. This makes sure that you only watch the video you have searched for and clicked on rather than binging on random YouTube recommendations. And while we are on the page of distraction, let's address the rabbit hole created by Instagram, Facebook, Twitter and Reddit too much. So this next extension called pause from freedom creates a barrier between you and the social media websites. Let me explain. So every time you visit a social media website, let's consider good old Facebook. When I key in the URL of Facebook and hit enter, I'm greeted by this green page, which makes me wait five seconds. After that, I can decide to either go back or continue to Facebook. Now, this might seem okay at the start, but over time, it piles up and you just forget that you opened the tab helps to get distraction from work and studies. Pause comes with its own list of blocked social media website, which you can always modify and alter. So these were some fresh new Chrome extensions for 2019. My favorite ones are Toby, Keepa, Grammarly, URL Render, etc, etc. The list just goes on. So let me know your favorite extensions in the comments below. And on that note, this is Pratik signing off. See you soon.